What's going on everybody? Brandon here and I am back with another video. Really exciting what we have in front of us. Something I never would have imagined. A very interesting piece you guys. It's not a bootleg but it is official DC licensed Night Striker Batmobile redone by a company called Fun School. My Batmobile unfortunately had a hard day and was packaged upside down probably trying to do some crazy arkham knight stuff this is gonna be really interesting i found this online from an ebay seller and uh this is just wild you guys i don't know what to say other than i basically discovered this company fun school they have licensed dc merch they've got the old sculpts from the stuff from the 90s and they are putting out new stuff this is really really interesting and we even get the quick change bruce wayne to batman with this from the original batman animated i think this was released in 2020 or 2021 and i paid something like 26 bucks for it on ebay uh my friend amateur priority toys also got one as well so definitely check out his channel i'll leave a link in the description below we are going to get this bad boy out of the packaging and find out what it's all about stay tuned all right, you guys, so we got our figure and vehicle out of the packaging. Very interesting. It feels like a blast from the past, and it also kind of just doesn't feel right. I don't know what to say here, but we'll explore this together. Unfortunately, the canopy for mine was taped shut, and some of that residue is stuck there. And yes, this canopy is translucent, so very, very interesting. Um, I think I'm going to try to clean this up actually a little bit first before we move on. All right, you guys, I did the best I could to clean this Batmobile. Unfortunately, the packaging for mine, the uh, flap here that's supposed to be glued to protect and seal, the Batmobile wasn't. So there was a lot of dust and debris that got in there. Um, but yeah, you know, the cool thing about this is it feels like the real deal. And the plastic is definitely that high quality. And it's definitely shiny. And it looks really good. The uh, canopy, unfortunately, I don't know what to say. I think that's a total loss. So I tried cleaning it and it just got all foggy and there's really not a lot I can do about that now. Um, I wish it would have worked out better, but you know, unfortunately it didn't. I have a nice striker Batmobile, so it's not like this was my plan to get one and customize it and have something. We will go over those things though and uh, what potential this has if you're trying to get a more um, animated series accurate Night Striker Batmobile. The lights on the back look really nice. I'm not a big fan of the flame on the side, and I'm really not a big fan of the yellow emblems here. Um, but, you know, you could take those off. Uh, this is going to be definitely difficult, the flames. But some of these stickers, like, they just, they could peel right off really easy. And I, you know, like I said, for my collection, I really don't want to do that. I want to leave this one intact as much as possible. And I want it to stand out and be different. The lights right here for the headlights actually look really sweet. So we do get the missile, which is a really nice touch. If you're trying to complete a Night Striker Batmobile, you will get one. It's not orange, it's yellow. And um, I don't have it, but there is another version of the Night Striker Batmobile that is like just black in the front and then dark blue all the way to the ends. If you know what version that is of this Batmobile, let me know. I'd be very interested to find out the name of it. Um, yeah, so... This is really interesting and very unique to this car. Uh, I don't know why it's gray. The engine is gray. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not a really big fan of it. It's okay. There's definitely this accent piece right here that's red. Emphasis on that being what we use to flip this. If it'll move. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's try it. I'll try it again. Oh, pretty slow turn. It's supposed to just flip over real fast. Let's try it again. No, it looks like there's something hindering it. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe there's no spring? Yeah, you know what? I bet you that's what it is. No spring. Darn. Well, maybe like this? Yeah, I guess. 
but that's more of gravity taking effect. So that's really interesting. Yeah. So that's the way you guys are seeing it flip right now is, is that's, that's gravity helping out. So it'll turn that way. But when I turn it the other way, that's not going to do anything. When I have it flat, it doesn't do anything. So it just, it just keeps it locked in place. So it definitely does that. But like I said, the quality of the plastic here is actually really, really nice. This black shiny plastic is absolutely what the Night Striker Batmobile is all about. All in all, you guys, I would say if you want one and you don't have one in your collection and you're trying to get one for cheap or you're trying to get some parts, this is definitely a good way to do it. You could spray paint the canopy. Uh, you could definitely take the rims and uh, or you could remove the flame. There's a lot of options here. All right, now for Vengeance himself. Here we have our Bruce Wayne to Batman, uh, originally from the 90s Batman animated series. Uh, the cape is pretty big. The material feels similar but slightly different for the cape, but it does look cool. There is no emblem on his chest. There is no yellow for the belt, uh, but I guess it is nice if you were a kid and you had these pieces and you lost them, you could get this and these would be some nice replacement pieces um this does not feel like the quality of the original uh kenner batman so not quite sure what to tell you guys let's see i i haven't messed with this guy at all so you're gonna get my reaction live right here Ooh, this is a very soft plastic it's really interesting wow yeah really soft rubbery plastic uh, Bruce Wayne is definitely shinier than I remember. And, oh, there's some red plastic that just came off. Oh, it's, uh, it's this. It's the, the, the black on his shirt that's just peeling off. And then let's see, what does Bruce Wayne's face look like? <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, poor Batman. He's, he's having a rough one. Um, the eyes, the, the sculpt is good. The sculpt is definitely accurate, but, um, they just put some black dabs in there for the eyes and it, it, it doesn't look good at all. Uh, for a Bruce Wayne, um, I mean, at least we get a Bruce Wayne, right? At least there's something that comes with this Batmobile. Um, and if this is all you have at your local market, then, you know, it, it would suffice. You could put the Batman mask on and have have a batman and the bat eyes are also a little messed up the white in the eyes is not perfect but all things considered for this being what it is 26 bucks you know and and being the collector that i am and loving batman the animated series i take all of this with a lot of potential there are peg holes at the bottom of the feet so that's good um, the articulation is very nice. The plastic does not feel cheap. It's just the paint that I think is shiny. And so that's kind of what does it. It's our standard five points of articulation. Um, but yeah, definitely doesn't feel like a cheap figure. Like most bootleg figures, this isn't it. This is definitely of a high quality. Um, it's just the paint and probably the, the limited resources that were given to this. And that's how we ended up with what we have. But all in all, not too bad. Um, like I said, it's all about the resource of me figuring out what I can do with these. And so, like, I'm missing an arm piece for my Bruce Wayne. So this will help me out. All right. So for a comparison, here is our new Batmobile with the original Night Striker Batmobile. You can see what a striking difference there is. Uh, no pun intended. Um, I'm going to do as best of a job as I can to show you guys these differences. Uh, the stickers are different, the headlight stickers, so that is really interesting. And all of the stickers on our new Batmobile were already there. There wasn't um, any choice of whether or not I could or couldn't put those on. Whereas with the original Night Striker, you had to choose all the stickers that you wanted. And so even on the side, if you wanted to keep it accurate to the show, you wouldn't put the stickers that they gave you for the rims. So I left mine empty on purpose. There was a whole bunch of stickers that came with the Night Striker that were really um, vivid and colorful. And it was like, 
array of colors and it was just very very interesting so the gimmick that the original night striker has of course that spins um and then the new one doesn't so we'll do that and try to get it to turn there it is all right so you can see these engines side by side there we go of course there are stickers in the night striker one and there are not in our new batmobile and then you've got an orange missile and a yellow one. And then you've got the red button. And then you've got an orange missile here with the black button. And so you can see exactly what those stickers look like. Um, nothing crazy, but you know, it is nice to have those. And there are repro stickers online that you could buy from eBay sellers. So definitely, if you wanted to put some stickers on your new Batmobile, you could. So it turns out the missiles are actually completely different. This is our new missile, and this is the original Night Striker missile. One of them looks like a bat. Isn't that really interesting? And uh, the other one, just uh, it, it's flat on the bottom. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, especially if you're a Batman collector. If you got that other one that is uh, dark blue with a little bit of black in the front, maybe this is the missile that goes with that. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was really interesting that these are different missiles. And then the back side of the vehicles, the original Night Striker Batmobile, of course, had a lot more stickers, and so you can put those there. And then our new one has different stickers. Very interesting, the design looks different altogether. Um, and then there's no stickers that go here on the sides. But yes, very, very interesting. So the canopy is open about the same for both. And you can see one is definitely fully painted and the other one is just left clear. And on the inside, the design and detail is all the same with the exception of the stickers. Our new one, of course, has no stickers on the interior at all whatsoever. And the original Night Striker does come with multiple stickers that you could put in there. And there's even like a little dashboard in the back for Robin or Nightwing. And so that is the main difference with the interior. Looking at the sides of the vehicles, they definitely look very similar. Uh, the flames, I'm really not a big fan of, uh, but the rims definitely look the same. The plastic looks the same. The colors of the plastic themselves look the same. So it makes me think these were made out of the same material. All right, next, taking a look at our Batmans. Very interesting. There is some very clear definition here um, about which one is the new one and which one is the original. So you can look at the eyes and you'll know our original Kenner Batman, his eyes are painted correctly. The new one, the eyes are not. We're missing an emblem there. There's no yellow belt. And here's the emblem with that yellow belt. I will say the plastic pieces for the arms and the legs are actually spot on on our new one. And um, the plastic itself is actually, it feels like the same material that these ones are made out of. And so to me, there's really no difference at all with this. So I'm very curious to really learn more about Fun School and how they make their toys. Um, again, like I said, you know, it's all about what you need as a collector, right? And so... For 26 bucks, if you need Night Striker Batmobile pieces and Batman pieces, this could really lend itself well. And now I've just completed my original Kenner Batman, and it looks perfect. There's, there's no way that I'd be able to tell that that's a different piece. So it's very interesting. Um, the other thing that I noticed, too, was the difference in the paint uh, for the skin tone. Um, these guys are definitely definitely different our new one definitely has a lighter skin tone compared to the old one and um <laughs> look at the difference with the eyes that is crazy oh my goodness all right so for another look here they are without their gear on i've got my yellow one as well that came with the custom coupe and you can see just how similar and different these guys look honestly our new one in the middle i think it's just the eyes more than anything else that make this a key difference um brighter red paint definitely and um the black pieces on his red shirt just look like they rub off a lot easier and they are shinier 
we can see that definitely the the black eyes on our original red Kenner Batman look good. On the yellow one, they are smaller, I guess, maybe more precise. But all in all, it's just really interesting. If you're a Kenner Batman fan, you definitely want to add this to your collection if you can. And more to discuss on that in a little bit. But this is very interesting. The backside for these figures. Um, they really didn't miss any paint on the new one. I can tell you that. And um, the peg holes do match the same. As you can see, I got them on the Amazon stands. And it works well. works very well. So all in all, I would say that... The plastic is the same. The feel and the quality is the same. It's the paint that is different. And I think that's really about it. Next, taking a look at just the gear, we can see that the capes are like almost the same length. Um, definitely better grooves at the bottom of the new one. Um, the torso pieces here are definitely sculpted the same. We're just missing the emblem and the paint. And for the arms and the legs, honestly, they're one for one. It's pretty crazy. Like, the plastic they used is the same. It's the same color. It's the same texture. It's the same material, for sure, 100%. In fact, you can't even really know what, what are the new pieces and what are the old ones. The old ones are on the right, and the new pieces are on the left. But, man, this is crazy. Still blows my mind that we got this. And yes, the old Kenner pieces do fit on the new figures from Fun School. That chest emblem looks really good. And here is the mask. Wow, that is actually spot on. So much better. And here are both nice Striker Batmobiles together with some figures in the cockpit. You can see how that works back to back. And I did put a Kenner Robin in there for our new Batman. So he does have... A sidekick. Yes, it works. It closes. Yes, it works. It closes. I thought maybe with all of Batman's gear on, he wouldn't fit, but he does. So like I said, it's all about potential, right? So if you buy a Night Striker Batmobile that is plain and has nothing on it, and you get one for cheap, you get lucky, you could use the pieces from this to fill in the gaps with that. So yeah, the missile fits. The canopy you could remove nice and easy and you can put it there let's see that should fit too yep sure does and so yeah there's definitely some options you could even probably use a heat gun for the rims and get those off there and put them on there i'm sure it's possible i don't want to damage mine so but yeah there is a lot of possibilities for a comparison of our new Batmobile with some previous Batmobiles from Batman Animated, here's how they look. It looks really good. As you can tell, I like adding to my animated Batman garage, so that's why I really didn't want to mess with this one too much. The color schemes are different. I want it to stand out um, and be its own thing, but I really like it, and I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. For another comparison with some 90s Batmobiles, here we have the 89 Batmobile, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin. These all fit in very nice. I think even to this day, it's so cool that you can collect Batmobiles from so many different eras and they all kind of fit in together. They're all around the same size and you can add to your Batman garage. For a comparison with some more modern stuff from Spin Master, we have the Transforming Batmobile, the new 89 Batmobile from the Flash movie, and the RC Ejecting Batmobile. And these all fit in Really nice too, like I said, over many eras, many years, this Batmobile still fits in great. Gotta love that original Night Striker sculpt. All right, you guys, that about does it for this review. Thank you so much for watching along with me. Again, this is the Fun School DC Batmobile, officially licensed DC merch, brand new. Uh, I still can't believe it, you guys. So I was just browsing the internet and there it was. It came from India. And it was 26 bucks. We got a Batmobile that has been repurposed, uh, re-released uh, with a different color scheme, different stickers. And we got a Batman to go with it uh, with all of those parts and pieces. I got to say, if you're a Kenner fan, 
this is definitely going to be something that's up your alley. And like I said, think about the potential and the possibilities, especially if you are missing pieces. This could be great. And the more I play with this thing, honestly, the more fun I have. And here right now, I got the Batman that was actually advertised on the original box for the original Night Striker Batmobile. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you're going to pick up or pass on this and uh, if you want another take, definitely check out Amateur Priority Toys. Again, I'll leave that link in the description below. A great guy with some awesome content on his channel. And uh, yeah, I picked up one for me and one for him. And uh, he's a massive Batman fan as well. So it's definitely a review that I look forward to watching as well. You guys keep it right here at my channel as I find more new cool and awesome stuff. I'll be sure to bring it to you here. Once again, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching.